Hello friends, Namaskar. Let us take the case of formulation of linear programming problem. The problem is Raja Toys Manufacturing Limited manufactures two types of toys wooden soldiers and trains. That means there are two types of toys soldiers and trains. Each soldier sells for rupees 27. You can take any currency instead of rupees, dollar, ruble, sterling, pound, euro, anything. Each soldier sells for rupees 27, uses rupees 10 of raw materials and takes rupees 14 of labor and overhead costs. Each train sells for rupees 21, uses rupees 9 of raw materials and takes rupees 10 of overhead cost. Each soldier needs 2 hours finishing and 1 hour carpentry. Each train needs 1 hour finishing and 1 hour carpentry. Raw materials are unlimited. But only 100 hours of finishing and 80 hours of carpentry are available each week. That means there is scarcity of finishing hours and carpentry hours. These two are known as limiting factors or key factors. Demand for trains is unlimited. Any number of trains can be sold. But at the most 40 soldiers can be sold each week. We can sell at the most 40. That means we cannot sell more than 40 soldiers per week. So we have to manufacture either 40 or less than 40. How many of each toy should be made each week to maximize profits? Formulate this as an LPP. Do not solve it. See the last sentence. How many of each toy should be made each week to maximize profit? This sentence gives us information regarding two important factors. First, decision variables. How many? Two, because we manufacture two types of toys. Soldiers and trains. We need to determine ultimately as a part of our optimal answer. We need to determine number of soldiers and number of trains to be manufactured. So number of soldiers and number of trains to be manufactured are our decision variables. But roughly we can say that soldiers and trains are our decision variables. So number of decision variables to which soldiers and trains. And another most important information from that statement available is. What is the objective? Maximize profit. That means maximization of profit is our ultimate goal behind all these activities. Now let us solve the problem. First of all, let be clear about the decision variables. How many to which soldier and train? Let us be clear about objective. What is the objective? Maximization. Maximize what? Total profit. Profit means total profit. We are not interested in maximizing the per unit average amount of profit. We are interested in maximizing our total amount of profit. Yes, what is the information about profit? There is no clear cut information about profit. But see the first line of first line. Each soldier sells for rupees 27. That means we earn selling price of 27 on selling each toy of soldier. Uses rupees 10 of raw materials and takes rupees 14 of labor and overhead cost. Now we can calculate profit. Selling price minus cost. 27 selling price minus cost 10 and 14. That means 27 minus 24. So we can say that each toy of soldier gives us profit of rupees 3. Similarly, train. The information about train is each train sells for rupees 21. Uses rupees 9 of raw materials and takes rupees 10 of overhead cost. So, earning 21 selling price minus cost 9 rupees raw material plus 10 rupees of overheads. So, 21 minus 19 ultimately rupees 2 is the amount of profit per unit. We will manufacture number of units of soldiers. Each will give us profit of rupees 3. So, 3 into number of units will give us the total profit 
which can be earned from selling soldiers. 2 into number of units of trains will give us the total amount of profit which we can earn from selling toys of trains. And grand total of these two will give us the total amount of the factory or of the farm per week selling the number of units of soldiers and trains. We want to maximize that total amount. But there are certain restrictions. Constraints. Constraint is say two constraints are regarding resources of production and one is regarding sales. First is finishing us. What is the information about finishing us? Each soldier needs two hours of finishing and one hour carpentry. Each train needs one hour finishing and one hour carpentry. Raw materials are unlimited, but only 100 hours of finishing and 80 hours of carpentry are available. Only 100 hours. At the most 100. We are not in a position to use more than 100 hours of finishing because we have only 100 hours available. Either we can use all 100 or less than 100. Similarly, carpentry. Availability is 80. Either we can use all 80 hours or less than 80. What is the rate of consumption of these two resources? Each soldier needs 2 hours of finishing and 1 hour of carpentry. And each train needs 1 hour of finishing and 1 hour of carpentry. We are going to use these two resources by this rate, but availability is restricted to this much per week only. And the last thing, demand of trains is unlimited, but at the most 40 soldiers can be sold. Demand restriction, 40, that is maximum. We cannot sell more than 40 soldiers per week. So either we should manufacture exactly 40 or less than 40. That will be the effect of this condition. Now let us write the linear programming problem in its mathematical form. Let the number of units or number of toys to be made or manufactured or produced at the number of units to be made of soldiers equals to x1 and trains equals to x2 we can take x and y also to maximize total profit. The function of total profit will be z equals to 3x1. 3 is per unit amount of profit from soldiers and we are going to manufacture x1 number of units plus 2x2. 2, 2 is the profit per unit from train and we are going to manufacture x2 number of units. So the total profit will be 3x1 plus 2x2. But subject to certain constraints or conditions. What is the first one? It is regarding finishing time. That will be 2x1. Total consumption of finishing hours for soldiers. 2 per hour into 2 per unit into x1 units. Plus 1 into x2. Less than or equal to 100. Why less than or equal to 100? We have 100 hours available. At the most we can use 100. We cannot use more than 100. So there can never be greater than 100. Either we can use all 100 equal to or less than 100. Less than. So the sign less than or equal to should be there. Similarly carpentry. 1 hour. X1 into 1 plus X2 into 1. Again less than or equal to 80. The same logic. We have only 80 hours. So we cannot use more than 80 hours. So greater than sign can never be there. Either we can use 80 hours exactly or less than 80 hours. 
Now demand or maximum demand. It is for soldiers only. Either we can manufacture or afford 40 units or less than 40. Why should we manufacture more than 40 units when we know in advance that we cannot sell more than 40 units? So again, there can never be greater than sign. Either 40 equal to or less than 40, less than. And we know that number of units of any product, say soldier and trains in this case, can never be negative. So there will be non-negativity. X1 and X2 both are non-negative. Since we have not been given any specific uh, con uh, say condition about integer value, so we are not going to write it expressly that X and X1 and X2 should be integer. So this is the solution of our problem of formulation of a linear uh, say managerial problem or real life problem as LPP. That's it. Thank you very much.